let's talk about the green nuance that can be found in some HPHT laboratory grown diamonds. As you can see, I've worn green for the occasion. Hi, I'm Julia the Gemologist from the Gem Academy and welcome to my YouTube channel, the place for gem and jewelry professionals who would like to learn more about laboratory grown diamonds. So, the green nuance. In my last two videos I mentioned this whilst discussing the blue nuance. The green nuance is a very similar feature, so it's a subtle colour tint in the stone, but this time it's green. Again, it can be found in laboratory grown diamonds specifically grown via HPHT synthesis, and these typically have an equivalent colour grade of G and below. In this instance, the green colour is due to a combination of impurities, boron and nitrogen. And due to the boron, it can result in an electrically conducting material. So again, these green nuance stones can test as synthetic mosinite using diamond testers. These green nuanced products are said to be uncommon, however, I have four of them in my teaching collection and I didn't have to go too far out my way to obtain them. I have this Cushion Brilliant which is graded as a K equivalent colour grade by IGI and described as faint green under the comments. I have this Pear Brilliant which has been graded equivalent to a J colour with no mention of the green tint but as you can see it's definitely there. I have this round brilliant graded equivalent to an L grade stating faint yellowish green in the comments. And finally this oval brilliant equivalent to J colour grade with no mention of green in the comments but you can see it right? Especially if I compare these stones to a D colourless diamond. The green tints are really noticeable upon this comparison. None of the laboratory grown diamond reports that came with the stones state the phrase green nuance, but I have seen it on reports by IGI. So to let you know this phrase is already being thrown around in the laboratory grown diamond industry. Now I'd really like to hear some of your opinions on this and whether these stones should be graded in this way that they're currently being graded. I've had a couple of conversations with a couple of you already in response to the blue nuance video and other social posts that I've put out there over the last week. But basically we've been chatting whether we think this practice of assigning a single letter grade to these stones that have this blue and green subtle tint, uh, whether that's good practice. And not just for the blue and green tints, but basically any colour tint that isn't typically graded on the colourless to yellow colour scale. So um, I'd love to hear your opinions on this, so do write your thoughts in the comments below and share your insight into how you feel these stones should be graded or what you think shouldn't be done because it seems that they're taking some of the rules from the natural grading systems but then ignoring other rules. Just let's feel it out, see what everyone thinks. That's it from me today. If you work with diamonds, subscribe to this YouTube channel as I'll be here for you on Tuesdays with more exciting content. I hope you enjoyed this video by the Gem Academy. Feel free to ask me questions and I'll see you next Tuesday for more on laboratory grown diamonds. Take care and I'll see you soon.